Uh, but drop shotting is like, this is how you catch them, okay? And just, there's never a tournament that I'm at that I don't have a drop shot tied on. I mean, never, even in Florida. Um, whether I'm sight fishing, whether I'm, you know, uh, fishing deep water, using my electronics, visually looking at them and dropping to them, or, or any of the things that you may have seen on major league fishing, it's one of my major baits. So it's something that you can just continually put fish in the boat, and, uh, and so it's just a, a major component of what I do as a professional angler. Drop shotting is not always for dropping it straight over, not vertical fishing. You can drop shot cast at it, okay? In fact, I remember a, a tournament that we did at Folsom. I was paired with Gary Klein, who taught me lots about drop shot, in which, of course, he learned a lot from Aaron. But um, we're, we're sitting there, and, and Davey Height, and I think he's with Clark Winlet, were catching us. Day two, we, we had about a two-pound lead. Day two uh, in the outdoor games, they're catching us. They think they're going to catch up with us, and Klein said, let's go. And because uh, we'd only caught one, they caught like four or five. And just so every 30 minutes, you'd have an update, kind of like Major League Fishing does. But Major League, you do it every time somebody catches one. It's really nerve wracking. But anyway, so, so we run to this little drop off. It's a little shallow, uh, you know, kind of a point coming, point coming. It had a little brush out there. And it's like whew, cast and drop shots, right? So you cast it out, drop it down, and you're lifting it. So you, know, you got to imagine here's your weight, here's your line. Here's your hook and here's your bait. So it's at an angle. So casting a lot of times is an excellent way. Well, we ended up between that, that check time when he said, we got to go, to the next check time, which was 30 minutes. So we made the run and caught them. We had caught like 12. And we just blew them out of the water. You could hear the air going out of their balloon. They got no hope, which they didn't. And we mashed them. That's where you use tungsten. because what and, and of course, I use it on everything. But the cool thing about tungsten is that when you make that cast, you lift, you have a return, I mean a signal that's coming down that line, the feel of the bait, that this, when it touches something, it lights it up. Where lead's subtle, right? Lead's like, it's soft, it doesn't give you a, a, a return, that tungsten does. So absolutely, you know, have some tungsten there, especially if you're casting. Uh, I it's coming down. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about, but they're all small, finesse, light, you know, just really cool, cool baits. Can you drop shot with a big one? You know, I put a regular five-inch Ocho in there, and it's, it's great. It's a tremendous bait. I've drop shot, um, uh, I'll show you one that, that I've actually caught a number of fish on. It's the rodent, and this is an old, old bag, but the small little creature bait, little rodent. It's great for it. It's like a little crawdad, you know? So, you know, can you use that? Certainly. But if I'm drop shot and the first thing I'm going to do is probably throw a dream shot on there and, and probably my favorite color, okay? So imagine this being in the water, right? And then I slack line it and see that bait fall. Well, now it's in the water and it's got no weight but the bait and the hook. So it's slowly settling. It's not dropping like this. This is air, right? It's going, it's going like this, just real slow. Imagine 20 feet of water, all your line, your bait's there, and it's got nothing holding it but the hook. Here you go. It's just settling out real slow. That's what they like. When you go to just barely lift, before you get tight, what happens? That bait's up, right? So it's up off the bottom, and you haven't even got your line tight. Once you feel the weight, well, it's, it's moving, okay? So what you got to understand is when you go to lift it, you brought it up, and you give it some off time. Off time means you're letting that bait settle, sink. That's where most of your strikes are. A little jiggle every now and then. I do a lot of slack line on this. Every now and then I'll shake it a bit. I'll drag it a lot, okay? Just drag it, lift it, shake it. And then, of course, if you're vertical fishing, you know, we're, we're good with you there. Unless you want to jump or something. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, you know, vertical, and it's, it's always fun to do that. To me, it's like a giant video game, real life. Looking at my unit, I got my HDS-12, I got my transducer right on my trolling motor. I'm going along it, boom, one shows up on the graph, and I go, there he is, you know, and I drop it right there. And what's crazy is never drop it downwind. 
You all know that, right? Your trolling motor's here, and you're looking, and there's a fish, and you shut it off, wind's coming this way, and you drop on this side of the trolling motor, what happens? Bo's coming back, next thing you know, it's, and you got the trolling motor, and it's the best bite in the world, okay? I, I do that at least once or twice a day, and it makes me madder than a hornet. I mean... I hope you enjoyed the preview clip, and for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. If you want to become a better angler, you want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond, then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Kluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's going to allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're going to catch some big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bash University TV exclusive.